This is my 1993 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. And inside is a factory option car phone. It's a corded handset that you can pick up and hold up to your head. And this bracket swivels out of the way to reach the limited remaining storage space underneath. There's also these hands-free controls on the steering column. It's got a microphone for talking, a button to answer and hang up a call, and three speed dial buttons. When you turn the ignition on, the phone powers up. And when you turn the ignition off, it powers down. The actual brains of the phone in the trunk under this carpet flap. That's the transceiver. And you can also pop it out and disconnect it and it becomes a portable phone. Just plug the handset into it. Here's the phone in full portable mode in its leather carrying case and its instruction manual. Next to the transceiver is this hands-free controller unit. This connects the transceiver with the handset up in the front, the controls on the steering column, the stock radio, and the passenger side speaker. This is all factory wiring that originally came in the car for a plug-and-play installation. In its original form, you'll see it has no service. It's impossible to get service on these phones because they rely on old analog cell service that went extinct back in 2008. So the best you can do with this is push buttons, hear sounds, use some settings on the phone, mess around with saving contacts. And if you try to place a call, you get this really annoying call failed sound coming out of the car speaker. When you're in a call, the button presses also come out of the car speaker. Let's end that. You can also see how the car phone will automatically mute the radio. Let's dial a number again. Press send. See the flashing symbol, meaning the radio is muted. You can still hear it at a low volume, but you mostly hear the car phone sound coming out of the speaker. We can also end the call by pushing this button. And then the radio unmutes. It's time for the magic ingredient. This is my custom Bluetooth adapter that connects in between the transceiver and the hands-free controller unit and adapts the phone to connect to a modern cell phone via Bluetooth so it can actually make and receive calls. If you're interested in more technical details about how I built this and how it works, then check the description for links for more information. Here's a quick peek at what's inside my Bluetooth adapter. That was a lot of fun to put together. But for now, let's just hook it up and play with it. Okay, here's my Bluetooth adapter, all hooked up to the car phone system. Again, this is all plug and play installation, no modification needed to the car phone or any of the car wiring. Just hook it up, we'll set it here on top of the hands-free controller unit, and go have some fun. With the Bluetooth adapter installed, we can now turn the ignition on. The phone will power on just like before, and I've even replicated the original power on sequence. Now we still have no service, 
and the signal strength indicator is flashing. That means that we have no connection to a host phone with Bluetooth. So let's pair it to my phone. GT car phone. And now it's paired. You can see the signal strength indicator now shows the signal strength of my phone. And if I go into airplane mode, it has no service back out of airplane mode. We have service and signal strength again. If my cell phone connects to a different cell phone provider for some reason, let's switch to Sprint. The car phone will know that we're now roaming. Then if we switch back to T-Mobile, no longer roaming. Now that I've paired my cell phone with the car phone, I can turn the car off. And when I turn it back on, it will automatically reconnect to my phone. I never have to pair it again. And now it's ready to make calls. Let's dial a number on the handset. You can try dialing this number yourself to confirm this really is a phone number that produces the audio I'm about to show you. Once I send this, it'll make the call, and the sound will come out the passenger side speaker. The first worm gets snapped early. Jump the fence and hurry up the bank. Yell and clap as the curtain slides back. If we pick up the handset. The sound comes through the ear speaker. And if we hang back up, I need fun. It switches back over to the car speaker. The prince ordered his head chopped off. Press end to end the call. The houses are built of red. We can also place an outgoing call using these shortcut buttons on the steering column. Each of these three numbered buttons corresponds to one of the first three stored numbers on the phone. So let's go see what's stored at number three. There's that number. I also have a name stored with it. I can switch to showing the name. This is Call and Oats, a phone number you can call to listen to some Hall and Oats songs. So that out. Press the HF button and then the number. Welcome to Call and Oats, your emergency Hall and Oats helpline. To hear one on one, please press one. To hear it go, please press two. To, and to avoid to copyright strikes, I'm not going to actually listen to, to a song. But we can please end the call here. I added support for using voice dialing and voice commands through the car phone system uh, using the host phone's voice assistant, which would be Siri on an iPhone or Google Assistant on an Android. And I added special handling so I can speed dial it from the hands-free controls. Tell me a joke. Why don't lions hang out with other species? Their pride gets in the way. With my cell phone connected to the auxiliary input jack of the original radio, I can now use my car phone to control my music using the voice assistant. Play car phone. Now playing car phone by Julian Smith. You can use the voice assistant to place an outgoing call. Call Katie. Calling Katie. iPhone. Hello? Hi, Katie. Hey, Jeff. 
You want to go get some ice cream? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, I'll come pick you up in a few minutes. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Now for an incoming call. I'm going to turn the radio up a bit for this so you can hear the radio mute when the call comes in. And you'll hear the ringer coming through the door speaker there. Here's the incoming call. We can answer it with this button right here. Hello? Hi, Jeffy. It's been 20 minutes. Are we still going out for ice cream? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been too busy playing with my car phone. Uh, how about a bit later? Okay, bye. And the radio comes back on after the call's over. I hope you enjoyed this tour and demo of my fully functioning car phone system with my custom Bluetooth adapter. It's been over three years in the making and there were many times I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it happen, so it's pretty exciting to see it all come together and actually work in the car. There's a lot of little details I glossed over about how the phone works, some features it has like custom ringtones and games. Uh, you can find some older videos I have demonstrating some of those features or follow the links in the description to see all kinds of information and technical details about how it works. But for now, I just wanted to give an overview of the entire system and how it works. I hope you enjoyed it. We really did go out and get ice cream. 